Hey, what's up guys? My name is Simon and welcome back to episode 2 of Dear Simon, the series where you guys ask me questions and I give you guys advice to the best of my ability. I'm extremely underqualified for this, by the way. I'm not a therapist in any way, shape, or form. But anyways, as always, if you don't want to watch this video, you just want to listen to the audio, the audio version will be available down in the description below. It's the Keep It Wholesome podcast. You can find it on Spotify and everywhere that podcasts are. Anyway, first question comes in from Dan. Dear Simon, how do I deal with everyday stress? Thanks. Also, it would be cool to know, do you make all the clothes for your brand yourself? And if so, how? This is really cool because a lot of people actually reached out asking me about my clothing brand. And if you guys are new here, shameless plug, go follow the clothing brand. I also have, hold on. I got this bucket hat. I might be selling these soon. But yeah, keep it wholesome. I always get so off track during these videos. It's kind of embarrassing. Anyways, back to your question of how to deal with everyday stress. Stress is something that, honestly, I might not have the best advice on because I struggle with it a lot. I mean, from running the clothing brand to the TikTok account, to the YouTube account, to the Discord server, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. And to be honest, I'm not the best at managing my time. I mean, before this video, I was sitting on my bed for like an hour and a half scrolling through TikTok and other social medias. Like, it's bad. It's really bad. But there are a couple things I've learned that have helped me deal with stress a bit. Uh, one of which is meditation. Now, I know meditation seems all like foreign and all weird and it's something that like, you know, Facebook moms do, but meditation is seriously super helpful. The reason being is when I get super stressed or anxious about things, it usually becomes the only thing I can focus on. If something stressful comes up in my life, it totally just ruins my day because I can't stop thinking about it. And usually that means it's something that won't happen for the next couple of days, but that anxiety and that stress just overwhelms me. So a lot of times I go towards meditation. And what meditation does is you just sit there for like 10 minutes and the guy's like, breathe in, breathe out. Imagine waves crashing over your body. I know it sounds dumb, but it's so relaxing, man. And after meditating, you feel like you've been sitting there for like literally hours upon hours, but it's only been like 15 minutes. And I think that's the beauty of it because nowadays it feels like you don't have enough time to get things done. You're overwhelmed. But if you meditate for 15 minutes, it feels like an hour. I cannot stress this enough. So it makes you realize that you actually have a lot more time than you think you do. The second way I would deal with stress and I've been dealing with stress is definitely working out. I'm not really, I'm not that big or anything, but working out, going for runs is really helpful. It's just getting out all that, you know, stress and that anxiety into like pushing weights. It does feel really good. The second question comes in from Dennis and he asks, Dear Simon, how do you deal with the feeling of loneliness? Now, this is something I'm pretty well versed in and I've just recently overcome the last few years. I'm usually a pretty good person when it comes to being alone. Like I can be alone on the computer for hours and I know it makes me sound really weird and, and cringe, but it's something that I'm happy with. Like recently I've been trying to go out more alone and go on trips alone and just kind of experience life by myself. And there's something so beautiful about that. It's such a great feeling being able to be alone and also be comfortable and happy and not need other people. But obviously it's a really hard point to get to. I would say one thing that you could do right away is join the Discord server. We have a Keep It Wholesome Discord server where we have a bunch of cool people on. I've met some great friends and family on there. I wouldn't trade it for anything else. And I'm really hoping to build the community a little more throughout the future. There are a lot of people you can talk to in the VCs, a lot of people you can talk to in the chat. And we also have mental health support channels where you can go in and just vent and people will come and help you. At least that's something that you can do right away. I think what really helped me in, in being alone but also being fulfilled with myself was finding something that makes me happy, finding a hobby that makes me happy. For me, it was creating videos, it was creating content. That's why I was able to stay at home alone and work on that stuff and feel fulfilled because it felt like I was working towards something. I think it's really hard when you're sitting at home just watching TV or watching things and not really challenging yourself and getting outside of your comfort zone. I think a lot of times people associate getting outside of your comfort zone by meeting strangers, but in reality, you can get outside of your comfort zone by learning a new skill, learning how to use Photoshop, starting a YouTube channel. There's a lot of things you can do alone at home that are pushing your boundaries. And I think when you slowly begin to find a hobby or something you're more into that you can pursue, that feeling of loneliness kind of fades. And it's always gonna be there. Loneliness is always gonna be there. Everyone feels lonely from time to time. But when you find something that's consistent in your life, like a hobby or a new thing that you're trying to learn, a new skill you're trying to learn, that can really help with that feeling. Above all, always remember that you're gonna meet a lot more people in the future. If you go off to college, uh, if you just surf the internet, meet new communities, you're gonna meet a lot more people. So just keep your eye out for opportunity. Don't close yourself off and you should eventually 
get to a good point in your life? And I just realized after answering that question, I never answered the first question or at least the part where he asked about the clothing brand. So I'll go into that right now, since a lot of people did ask that question. Basically, I run the clothing brand from home, which means that I pack and ship every single order. But I've had to go through a lot of trial and error to get to this point. So I'll give you some advice if you're starting an online business is always start local. Always go to like your local print and embroidery shop. That's what I use instead of going to like a big, like big company or big outsource thing, because having that face to face interaction or at least having that connection with someone that's local uh, means a lot. And that ability to be able to depend on them and also be OK with like them being straightforward with you is really valuable in the business world. I actually buy the blanks. So the actual like T-shirts like this T-shirt right here, I buy this blank from like a big wholesale company. And they and then I send it to my print and embroidery shop, my local print and stitch shop, and then they do the whole thing and they send it back to me and I pack and ship all the orders. That's basically what I've been doing. I'm hoping to expand in the future, but if that answers a lot of you guys' questions, let me know. Um, I'll be sure to actually make more videos about the clothing brand if you guys want to see that. So let me know in the comments. Anyways, the last question is, Dear Simon, how do I take the first step in working towards a goal? How do I stop procrastinating and just get on with it? All my life, I've struggled with the first step, but once I've taken it, things become much easier. Any advice on how to take the first step easier? If I'm being completely honest, taking the first step is hard. It's obviously hard because it's getting outside of that comfort zone. It's starting something without knowing the end result and putting yourself out there. But if there's one thing I've realized is if you're truly motivated to get something, you're going to have to start and it's only up to you. Nothing I can really say can force you to actually start something. I can't just go and check on you every single day to make sure you're doing this. It has to come from yourself. If you want to become a great YouTuber, you need to be able to make videos every single day for years and years until you get a break. In that way, the thing that you're working on has to be something you love. If you're starting a business, it has to be something you love. If you're starting a brand, it has to be something you love because if you're just doing it for the money or the end goal, you're going to eventually give up because if your only motivation is that end goal, it's not going to be able to motivate you through the day-to-day -day of actually grinding and doing the work you have to understand that anything you want in this life you can go get you just have to grind and just starting is like 99% of the hurdle a lot of people have ideas but they're like oh there's it's stupid it's too hard they say they're gonna do something they procrastinate it and they end up not doing it but if you just push yourself out there and you start you're 99% of the way there this is like literally my fifth YouTube channel and it's still I still got a long way to go I'm still trying to find my voice. If you start now, the biggest thing is you're gonna learn faster. And if you start now, a year from now, you'll be happy with your progress. And if you keep making progress towards that goal that you want, you'll eventually be happy and achieve that goal. So yeah, that's just my advice on that topic. Again, if you guys wanna hear the audio playback of this sometime in your car, subscribe to the podcast down below. I'll have all the links down below. And also follow the Instagram. I'll talk more about the clothing brand in the future. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, keep it wholesome. Love you.